Hello and welcome to the fourth advanced scripting tutorial in Roblox. Okay, so this tutorial is just going to be a multi-part, um, like a multi-part sort of series where I'm going to do many tutorials about tools. Okay, so I don't know how many parts um, it's going to take to cover everything to do with tools, but anything from, you know, making uh, a tool where you click on someone and they disappear or something like that uh, anything you can script it how you want but I'm just going to teach you like the basic functions and events of a tool okay so let's get started then insert basic objects tool um, just there tool uh, just insert it I've inserted it into the workspace but you can just you know right click cut and then where's the starter pack here we go right click paste into uh, paste it into the starter pack okay so there's my tool uh, I'm just going to quickly call it something like uh, disappearer that's going to be the name of the tool and uh, yeah so let me just get beginning on actually creating the tool so just insert a part we're not going to make it we're not going to be making things like guns or anything like that yet I just want to make a simple um, brick to when you so that when you click on something it disappears and that's all I want to do okay so uh, let's just change the form factor to symmetric just so that we don't get any decimal points in the size I want it to be you know exact so let's make it 222 two, two. and that's what our tool is going to look like we can also change the color maybe to red um, okay so now it's red so let's get beginning on actually scripting it but first we need to insert it into the tool hold on I'm actually going to cut this paste it back into the workspace and now I'm going to cut this part paste it into the tool and okay so in a tool you've got your uh, main part that you want to hold on to in and you just stick it inside a tool now we can't just do it like that with a tool what happens is when you equip a tool then there has to be a main part called the handle which is the part that is kind of welded onto the character and it's, it's the part that the character is holding onto um, and then everything else is just you know welded onto that handle so we need to give this a special name we need to call it handle and this isn't something like you can just call it whatever you want like uh, blah or something you have to call it handle it's got to be spelt exactly like handle with a capital H and that's just how it's got to be spelt so that when you equip the tool um, the character holds on to this part here and then anything else inside the tool so say we had a second brick on top of it um, that would be just welded onto the to, onto the handle okay so when you click the part then what it does is it selects the whole tool so say you want to copy one part and you just copy like that you'd be copying the whole tool so make sure you can either press alt and then click on the part so when you before you click on the part press alt and then click and that will select the actual brick or you can just go to the workspace and just click it manually manually like that okay so that's how you just select one part now if I were to cut this put it into the starter pack let's just go to tools uh, play solo and just wait for that to load okay so here's my sword that I've got out um, if I go and do the workspace character, find my character which is be player one and then find the tool uh, which I'm equipping uh, just click on the little arrow to expand it out and you can see uh, that handle is the part that I'm holding on to you see how it's got to be called handle and the same thing with our tool uh, when I equip it it's just a big red block and it's called handle okay disappear there. expand that and you've got your handle okay so say I named that something else uh, I've probably got to name it something else before you see if I were to equip it then and it wasn't called handle it would just fall down and it's not welded onto my character okay so that's how to do that and also what happens when you equip a tool is it goes from your backpack into your character let me just show you that again I forgot to show you that okay so if I go to players and 
and enter my player, expand my player. I can go into the backpack and I can see I've got my wind force gear and I've got my disappearer tool which uh, I made in the workspace in the studio. So you can see how it's in the backpack now and when I equip it then it goes into the character. Okay, So now if I go into my character you can see that the tool is now inside my character because I've equipped it. Okay, So when I unequip it it goes back from the character to the backpack. Alright, so that's what it does. And uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Now, I don't want this tutorial, this tutorial to go on for too long because it's going to be like a multi part tutorial. Um, I'm just going to quickly script one thing before I end the tutorial. So go to Insert Basic Objects Script, and now we've got a script inside our handle. I actually want to put that inside the Disappearer tool, just like that. Okay, so enter the, put the script inside the tool, uh, click it and now let me just zoom in so you can see right let's create an object variable call it tool equals script dot parent and tool is equal to now this, this this tool here okay this object variable is equal to the tool and now what we can do is we can say handle equals tool dot handle it's always good to have an object variable with the actual tool and the handle so object variables are good now we're going to use an event called equipped. So go to tool dot equipped. Just type in tool dot equipped, and this is the equipped event of the tool. So whenever you equipped the tool, this is what's going to happen. Right. So let's try and change the brick color, and say handle dot brick color equals brick color dot new. Uh, camo and let's take that off. Oops, no semicolon. Right, so when we equip the tool, then the brick color is going to go from red to camo, and there's another event called activated. Activated connect function, and this is just this just uh, gets cold when you click when you click on the um, when you click with the tool. So there's another event you could use which is uh, you can get the mouse uh, of the tool, you can get the mouse of the player so you can call an event when let me just go to help object browser let's find tool first and uh, let's try and find the events go down to activated, here we go so when you click the activated event gets called okay and you can also do this another way and I think in a local script um, I haven't told you about local scripts yet but if you're using a local script and you want to click you can also use the mouse event which is button one I mean button one down yeah and that will also be called or key down or something like that but I'll be teaching you that in the later tutorials okay so handle dot brick color equals brick color dot new um, what should we make it bright yellow okay so anyway that went limited right so when you click the handle is going to go yellow so let's just test it out you can find all the events for a tool in the object browser So there's also an unequipped event as well. So when you unequip the tool, something will happen. Okay, so you can see when I've equipped it, it's gone red. Okay, now when I click, it goes yellow. All right, so it's cool. Equip green and click yellow. Now, yeah, and that's that's how to do that. And that's how to use the event in a tool. All right, and if I want to use tool unequipped, Remember, there's no capital E for unequipped. Connect function. And let's change the brick color to, let's change it back to red. Okay, so on unequipped, we change the brick color back to red. And that's how to do a simple tool script. And that's just how to, you know, just, it's very simple. So you can just play around with that if you want. But in the next few parts of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you 
different sort of things you can script inside the tool. So if I click on the handle now, I can see that it's red, okay? And when I equip it, it goes camo. And when I click, it goes bright yellow. And let's uh, unequip it again, and it's gone back to red. And it's gone in my backpack, okay? So, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to show you, this tutorial. Uh, and the next few tutorials is going to be still on tools, but just, you know, doing different things with tools. And it's going to be like a multi-part. I think it might be maybe five, six parts long. I don't know. I can't really estimate from now, but we'll, we'll see. So, yeah, just keep practicing that. Um, uh, write in the comments if you get stuck. And I will help you in the comments. Okay? So, I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.